macadamia is an important crop to Kakuzi. As a fruit, uh, the nut is a superfood. It has uh, beneficial oils in it that help uh, enhance our health. The initial stage is the nursery where you, you select the cultivars that you want and you graft them. And you must have quality seedlings. After the nursery now you go to, to the site where you have suitable soil. The soil must be well drained. The factors you must consider when you, are, you decide to plant, you, you look at the direction of the slope. You must plant along the slope. Because for Kakuzi, you, we, we are highly mechanized. So you must have enough space in between the trees for the equipment to go through. Secondly, you must have the right spacing. This is important because uh, you do not want the trees to be overcrowded. If they are overcrowded, they will be competing for uh, for resources, that is light, uh, water, and uh, sunlight. Those are very important things. Now after planting, uh, you have to take care of those uh, trees. You must fertilize them. You must keep them weed free. And the very early stages, you must water them for them to, to have a good start. Uh, the fertilizers we use, uh, all of them, uh, caps are accredited. They are being analyzed for heavy metals. Do not apply any fertilizer that will harm the environment. Macadamia has a, a center of origin in Australia and it is, a, it's, it is adopted to grow in dry conditions. So macadamia really does not need a lot of irrigation. The only reason we irrigate is because we want to maintain the production level and the quality standards. A well-managed tree will start producing the very first nuts at around four years and any meaningful harvest starts after year five. Uh, during the harvest in Macadamia, the measures that we put in place to ensure food safety. First, before we go harvesting, we do what are called maturity tests. We do not want to move in and remove any immature nuts. Our harvesting process, we have uh, put in place measures to make sure that the workers are safe. We do not want anybody climbing up the trees. So the employees just hook the nut to the floor and collect it from there. The nuts are harvested into bags. The bags have to be clean. And once they uh, are in the bags, we do the weighing and empty into trailers. The trailers are also cleaned before they are loaded. Once the trailers are loaded, they go to the factory. Uh, or the dehusking facility, where we do the dehusking. The dehusking is the removing of the husk to leave you the, the nut. After dehusking, the nut is dried at the facility to a moisture of around 10%. Then it is moved to the processing or the cracking facility, where the moisture is reduced further to 1.5% before cracking. After cracking, uh, the product it is vacuum packed into boxes. And at that stage, it is ready for export. Uh, the products we get from macadamia processing. The first one, at the first stage, we have the husk. With the husk, we compost it and we take it back to the field. The shell is used as fuel in the facility. 
any excess that we have is uh, uh, sold to other people who run boilers as well. The process of cracking, from cracking to packaging, takes less than one hour. The time is made very minimal to ensure that the product remains dry to the required uh, moisture content. It also minimizes any opportunity for any contamination. Uh, during processing, the employees who work there, before they are allowed to work, they undergo medical checks to make sure that there's nobody who is uh, sick or has a, a problem that would contaminate the product. Then the employees who work there are required to shower every morning as they come to work and they change from their home clothes to uh, clothes that are used in the factory which remain in the factory and they are washed every day. Then at the end of uh, every day, the cracking facility is cleaned thoroughly to ensure that no contamin contaminants are in the facility. Uh, Kakuze owns the entire chain from planting the seed to selling the final product. This is very important uh, uh, because of one, you are assured of the quality of plant that you are putting into the ground. And that would come into production uh, at the shortest, shortest time possible. Uh, secondly, we have uh, total control of what is done in the field. It ensures that only allowed products are used in production of macadamia. Then we also have 100% control of safety of the product as well as safety of the employees. This gives us 100% assurance of what we have produced. And we are able to uh, respond to any complaints regarding our products because we know what we have done with the product. <laughs>